This episode of Stuck in Vermont is made possible by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Saulberger. We are here in Callis at the Kent Museum for a performance of Threads and Thresholds. There are so many things about this space that inspired me. You know, in a way, these rooms tell stories, but in another way, everyone has their own story. They relate to the space as it, as it has meaning to them. The smallness and the closeness of the space kind of contributes to that. Invisible threads are the strongest ties. Invisible threads, because at some point then, we are no more. Threads and thresholds is like moving through a museum. We'll be lingering in some places, moving slowly through others. Dancers will continue to direct you, inviting you on and pointing the way. The last time I covered Hannah was her piece, Dear Pina, which was held in the breeding barn at Shelburne Farms. And the Kent Museum, dating back to the early 1800s, is another unique space. But where the breeding barn was expansive, the Kent Museum has small rooms. And each room that you pass through has dancers and objects evoking different memories, thoughts, emotions. Feet and hands and sitting and standing and opening and closing doors and opening and closing windows and love affairs and sorrow and celebration. And I think that the dancers set a mood. Each, each room has its own mood. I mean, there are lots of ways in which you can enter the piece and make it your own. It honors the past, but it's, it's more about how we exist in this, this transition between past and present and into the future. Well, we've been together for 23 years, yeah. and we've been collaborating right from the beginning. We've worked together for a long time, so we have this way of push me, pull you kind of a thing going on. Daily, this piece has had changes in it all the time, and it feels like the most real-to-life piece that I've ever done, in that we deal with changes going on all the time. The building just was so exciting to be in. All this exposed lath and all the bones. I'm thrilled to be working in here and I'm so glad the Division for Historic Preservation said yes. I consider the Kent Museum the absolute epicenter of nowhere. And yet it was a stagecoach stop. It had a vibrant life, it just oozes feeling of what might have occurred in the space in the past who might have lived here, what kind of lives they might have lived. This place was entirely hand-built, which is absolutely amazing. It's grounding beyond the physical realm. It's grounding you in place and purpose and architecture and design and then whatever those spaces evoke. And it, it, it grounds, it informs the dance in a, in a very different way than just your arm goes here, your leg goes here, you, you do, you know, which I love too. So this is what is really special for me about working with Hannah. Setting it in another place and time. You know, is this like echoes of the foot, the, the footfalls that used to be here? What do the stairs sound like? You know, all that I mean, echoes. J 
just yesterday was the first time that we saw what Leslie's done. And then yesterday we came and everything was magical with the daffodils and the threads and the, you know, broken plates and just amazing. My mother had a bathing suit just like that, you know. <laughs> oh, this is like 40s bathing, 50s bathing suits. God. These kinds of little things that you see when you're in this room and saturated with it. There's so many things that we share. Olivia Gay, who I started partnering with this on this project, grew up in this area and this was her grandmother's house and her family's house and they would open up the windows of the ballroom in the summertime and the music would pour out in the evening and Olivia would be on the lawn there and Andy Christensen, who's on the piano, used to be as a kid on the lawn listening to this music. So I just love the way that it cycles around. You're up there and you're doing this piece and it's all referencing time and death and life and time that's gone past. And so I'm sitting there in this very like, here we are, 2015, that may as well be in a space age. We may as well be on Mars compared to when what this was when in like, I don't even know, 1800, 1700. You know, look at this place. <laughs> it's an old place. <laughs> so that's all like, whoa, now we're dancing with all the ghosts and evoking all this history and life. last piece is kind of interesting to me because we tried to use it in a piece of Hannah's 20 years ago. <laughs> our threads in our lives. The entire piece for me now is about how fleeting life is. You can see threads and thresholds here at the Kent Museum June 18th to the 21st, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. These are not invisible. These are visible threads that are happening here. This could be part of the performance for all I know. God, I am having my interview. Excuse me. She's going to go. I want to be alone. alone. Invisible threads are the strongest ties. I'm just going to check. <laughs> Invisible threads are the strongest ties, yes. I hope you got that argument. <laughs>